class of 2020, my name is Randy Dowell and I'm the founder and executive director of Kid National. While I wish I could be speaking with you in person, I'm so honored and excited to speak with you on your graduation day. As you well know, you're graduating in some tough times, but just as history has taught us that everything that glitters is not gold, all that seems bad is not. While none of us hope to spend the last two months in our homes or to see the deep loss of life and livelihood that so many have experienced, we also know that these challenges are not permanent and that there's still light and brightness ahead. Your graduation is an example of that. A hundred years ago, humanity faced a different pandemic and a different set of challenges. The Spanish flu of 1918 disrupted life and caused havoc for many. The children who came of age during that pandemic went on to become known as the greatest generation. When I think of that generation, honorable, hardworking, entrepreneurial, and committed, I think of you. You were like this before this challenging time, and I'm pretty sure that you're gonna be even more character-filled when this is over. And that gives me a great deal of hope. So as you prepare for your college and careers, and even for uncertainty, please know that you are a great generation. And with that, look for opportunities to make our world and our community a better place. And so as you go, please know that you can always come back for support because once a Kipster, always a Kipster. Congratulations. To the class of 2020, you made it. As unforgettable as you already were, the class of 2020 will never be forgotten for how your senior year ended in quarantine as our world confronted a pandemic unlike anything we've ever seen in our lifetime. Everyone is quick to talk about how different things will be from here on out, how our lives will be different in a post-COVID world, and that's certainly true. 10 weeks ago, few of us had probably ever heard of the term social distancing. Zoom was something you did on your cell phone to make a picture bigger. And who knew that hand sanitizer or toilet paper would become one of the most sought after items that one could have, even more popular than those ankle height Ugg boots that we've got. Yes, our world will need to change and need to adapt. But to you, the graduating class of 2020, I wanna take a moment to remind you of a few things that will be the same in a post-COVID era. First, our world will continue to depend on our country's youth to shape and guide our future. We'll need hardworking, selfless, and creative individuals like yourselves to rebuild a stronger global community. Next, the power of community still reigns supreme. And now that you are graduating our high school and entering the world as a young adult, you still have a crucial role to play in building up our cities leveraging equitable practices and social justice philosophies as we pursue a more just world. And the last thing that will not change in a post-COVID era is the power of empathy, the power of understanding one another, the power of understanding what somebody else is going through. This one's gonna be key because right now in May of 2020, there aren't many people who can truly understand what it feels like to be graduating from high school without having seen friends and teachers for the last 10 weeks, without having a prom or a traditional graduation ceremony. But strong empathy as it did before COVID-19 and as it will afterwards, will link us closer together, build bridges between us that will make the human spirit stronger. I urge you all as you celebrate the end of 12 years spent attaining your high school diploma don't forget about what it took to get to this moment. Specifically, don't forget about the people around you, your friends, family, and loved ones, what they did to support you in getting to this moment. Because at the end of the day, perhaps the biggest thing that won't change in a post-COVID society is that you'll have the closest people, these same friends, family, and loved ones right there to support you in whatever you do next. Once again, congratulations to you, Congratulations to the class of 2020. My name is Hector Tinoco, and I come to you as a solo returning of the class of 2020. 
as we celebrate our graduation from Kip National Collegiate High School. I am reminded of how much the class of 2020 has worked so hard and pushed through a number of obstacles, such as the deadly tornado our, six, our city was impacted by, rest in peace for those who lost their lives, the pandemic crisis, and also having to graduate virtually in order to get to this milestone. Take a moment though look, to look back at the times you struggled, but recognize the grit and growth you have demonstrated to get here. Additionally, I would like to thank our teachers, families, and friends. You have all had a heartfelt impact on the development of the students that will be graduating this lovely day. It is my honor to stand here and share you with, with you my thoughts on this unforgettable moment. With all that being said, let me tell you my story, the story of why I am a graduate of the class of 2020. Before I begin to write this speech, I sat there for a while and thought for a long time. Never in my life have I sat thinking my, in my, about my past in this manner. Initially, the only, thing, the only thoughts that came to my mind were the words, I can't, I won't, give up, confused, and many more I can name, but I won't because today's a day of, of celebration and positivity. Instead, I am reminded of the critical moments that prepared me for this journey and the people who helped me along this way. To begin, I would like to thank my parents for their decision to bring me to the U.S. Without them and their decision, who knows where I would be right now. And most importantly, I wouldn't be up here enjoying this moment. My parents have had a huge impact on me throughout my education and in making my college decision. Imagine you arriving in the U.S. not knowing how to speak English, yet you still had to go to school with other students who did. I always thought English was a difficult language to learn. Let me tell you something though. Anything is possible if you take time and are dedicated to do something. For example, if there's one moment I remember the most, it will be my mom and I doing my kindergarten homework together. I remember well when I had to learn the alphabet and my mom would be there with me. She always mixed up the letter B with the letter V and vice versa. I bet you now, however, if you tell her to say the alphabet, she won't get those mixed anymore. Matter of fact, you can have a conversation with her and she will be able to understand you and respond to some things. Let's not forget about my dad too. He has been there for me since day one and all the work he has done for our family is remarkable. He has been practicing and I'm happy to say I'm proud of him. I'm also proud of all the students and families who have experienced the same obstacles as me and my parents because I know it's not easy arriving in the U.S. and having to adapt to the new setting. However, both took time out of their day to learn with me and progress intellectually, and I know we all would do the same. And we, I know we all have been doing the same thing as the years have gone by as well. Gracias, padres, por apoyar a sus hijos durante este tiempo importante en nuestras vidas. Sé que es triste ver sus hijos ya grandes y listos para enfrentar lo que la vida tiene preparada para ellos. Sin embargo, estoy seguro que cada uno de ellos van a tomar una buena decisión en la vida. Gracias nuevamente. In closing, I am proud to say that the graduating class of 2020 is the best class to have graduated from KIPP so far. We will be remembered as the class that made teachers laugh and the class that taught each other strength and teamwork. And today, we are all sitting here embodying gratitude and dedication to our next chapter. With that being said, I'm honored to have this wonderful chance to speak to you all. Thank you for your attention. Congrats to all 2020 graduates. Hello everyone, sean bienvenidos todos. I hope that you are all doing well and in jolly spirits. My name is Aldo Vera Spinoza and I am the valedictorian of KIPP Nashville Collegiate High School. Uh, my elation comes from seeing the graduating class of 2020 come so far, and I still see so much potential in each, one of, in each and every single one of you. I do believe that is enough for the formalities. I have, many fond family, uh, I have many fond memories from my time at KIPP. One of the beauties of our school is how well people could work together to accomplish what they could not have done alone. Time and time again, I've witnessed people band together to, to accomplish grand feats that they could not have done. For example, the robotics club was able to come in first place in a skirmish. That was a lot considering that the first, it was the first year it opened. And take also, for example, math club. It came from being last place, placing first in a competition in Davidson County. 
there are many more instances where a team did so much more than the individual could ever do. I hope that these graduates not forget the value of teamwork that they were taught at KIPP. And now I'd like to bring to you a quote. In the times of storm, the shallowness of the root structure is revealed. This is a grand quote to live by. It is only in the worst times that we see the faults of what is around us. This pandemic is a great example. Staying at home has given us much time to self-reflect and see the weaknesses in our own character. Hard times are a blessing because they show us what needs to be improved and what one has to learn. I hope every senior remembers that so when they face difficulty, they look at what is shallow and try to fix it rather than become disheartened and dejected. In conclusion, I want to thank everyone who has helped me get to where I am. I could not have come here without help from the amazing teachers, family, and students. Quiero dar gracias a todos, a nuestros padres, maestros, compañeros, amigos, y a todo el personal de KIP. I have been at KIP for seven grand years, and I am confident that I have been prepared to do well in life. I have been taught to be patient, learn how to view things from a different perspective, and understand the joy of helping others out. Thank you to those who have been my teacher and have taught me valuable life lessons and showed me how interesting your subject matter is. I wish my peers luck in the next stage in their lives. And to all the returning students, I hope that you do well and try to better your grades and take advantage of every opportunity. Thank you. Gracias por estar aquí con nosotros.